In this video, we're going to talk about hypersensitivity type 1. Hypersensitivity reactions are exaggerated or inappropriate immune response to a benign antigen. It is the immune response and not the antigen that is actually harmful. An external antigen such as a drug, pollen, or food can elicit an inappropriate immune response. However, an inappropriate immune response to an internal antigen, such as your own skin or neuron, would be called an autoimmune reaction. Hypersensitivity reactions can be the mechanism of diseases in some autoimmune reactions. Hypersensitivity reactions are antigen-specific. It's antigen-specific because the immune system is educated and primed towards the antigen after the first exposure. In this quick example, first exposure or first contact to an external antigen, such as a drug, pollen, or food, causes the immune system to sensitize itself towards the particular antigen. In other words, it primes the immune system against that antigen, so when the next time the antigen comes along, the primed immune system, including the T cells, antibodies, and neutrophils, they can mount an exaggerated and an inappropriate immune response, aka a hypersensitivity reaction. But the immune system can cause hypersensitivity reactions in different ways. And that is why hypersensitivity reactions can be subdivided into four main types. Type 1, type 2, and 3 hypersensitivity reactions are antibody-mediated, whereas type 4 is a cell-mediated hypersensitivity reaction. Hypersensitivity type 1 is an antibody-mediated reaction. It is also called the immediate hypersensitivity reaction because it is fast. An allergic reaction is a type 1 hypersensitivity reaction and really involves recognition of an antigen by primed IgE immunoglobulins on mast cells. A scenario of an allergic reaction, which is a type 1 hypersensitivity reaction, involves a first contact or first exposure to a particular benign antigen, such as a pollen, a particular food, or a particular drug. Because this is how allergic reactions occur, let us call the antigen an allergen. The allergen can be picked up by specialized antigen-presenting cells, which process and present part of the allergen molecule on the cell surface. From here, the antigen-presenting cell will carry the allergen to nearby lymphoid tissue, such as the lymph node, where the process of sensitization begins. And again, sensitization occurs from the initial exposure, first contact, to a particular antigen. So the antigen presenting cell presents the allergen to the T helper cells, which will then inform the B cells of this new allergen and will activate the B cells to become plasma cells via interleukin-21. Interleukin-4 stimulates the B cells to class switch from an IgD, for example, to an IgE immunoglobulin. The plasma cells are now IgE-secreting plasma cells, which are primed specifically towards the particular allergen. IgE is one of five immunoglobulin classes, and it has a major role in type 1 hypersensitivity reaction. IgE is made up of heavy chains and light chains, and on the top is the binding site for that specific antigen. The other major player in uh, the sensitization of the body of the immune cells towards the particular allergen are the mast cells, which are granulocytes containing mediators called histamine. On the surface of the mast cells are FC receptors, which are receptors for the heavy chain of IgE. The heavy chain of IgE will bind on the FC receptor. This does not activate the mast cells, rather the IgE sits there and just chills. The IgE also binds 
firmly by its heavy uh, chain portion to receptors on the surface of basophils. Now, this completes the priming of the immune system towards that specific allergen. The body is now ready and sensitized towards the particular allergen. So now, on subsequent exposures to the allergen, what happens is that the bound IgE on mast cells will recognize the allergen. The allergen crosslinks IgE on mast cell surface, activating these cells to degranulate and release their granules of histamine within minutes. Release of these fast mediators causes a number of things, including increasing vascular permeability and vasodilation, both of which causes edema and erythema to local tissues. Increased vascular permeability allows extravasation of neutrophils and other acute inflammatory cells and molecules, and this occurs very quickly. The late phase of IgE-mediated inflammation occurs within hours after exposure to the allergen. Here, other mediators are synthesized after the cells degranulate. These mediators include leukotrienes, prostaglandins from the arachidonic acid pathway, as well as eosinophil chemotactic factor of anaphylaxis. Leukotrienes causes increased vascular permeability and bronchoconstriction. Prostaglandins causes bronchoconstriction. Eosinophil chemotactic factor of anaphylaxis attracts eosinophils to tissues immediately. All these mediators causes the variety of signs and symptoms we see in a type 1 hypersensitivity reaction, which is an allergic reaction. And this includes urticaria, eczema, angioedema, hay fever, and asthma-like symptoms. These reactions can be local or systemic. A life-threatening cause of a systemic reaction to an allergen would be anaphylaxis. Now, anaphylaxis is the most severe form of type 1 hypersensitivity. Here, people develop feeling of impending doom, hypotension, edema of the lips, neck, severe bronchoconstriction, they can't breathe, as well as tachycardia, fast heart rate. The person will develop anaphylactic shock. Adrenaline needs to be administered quickly. Another concept to understand is atopy. Now, atopy are immediate hypersensitivity reactions with both an environmental trigger that we talked about, as well as a strong family predisposition. Hay fever, asthma, and eczema tend to run in families. And there are several processes which seem likely to play a role in atopy. For example, dysfunction of the barrier leading to enhanced antigen exposure to the body. Two, there can be increased uptake and presentation of external antigen, which would sensitize the immune response or immune system. Three, there could be dysregulation of the T cells. For example, people can have increased production of interleukin-4, which is a cytokine responsible for class switching to immunoglobulin E, IgE. And four, there can be hyper-responsiveness of target tissue to mediators and cytokines. And ATP is generally associated with elevated IgE and large number of T helper 2 cells. So I hope you enjoyed that video on hypersensitivity type 1 reaction, which is an immediate reaction, an allergic reaction. Thank you for watching.